Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. That was one very well-timed delivery, Jules. Hello, mate. Hello, Jules. That was very well-timed, dude. I literally switched into that scene and you delivered. <clears throat> How are we doing? Can you hear me okay? AV 10 out of 10. Alrighty. That's good. Nothing's broken this morning. Yet. Palm 27, 18 months. Keep up the amazing content and amazing community around you. Scroll love and GG. Thank you very much, Harlan. Thank you. Got a call today through in a bit. Hello, Paul. Ico and Jav Hater with resumes. <clears throat> How am I? What if I told you, Alpha Red, that I woke up one hour ago? What? Yes, indeed. I put my alarm on for Welcome before 10 o'clock and I woke Welcome up one hour ago. And to be quite honest with you, if it wasn't for Mrs. Squirrel, I would probably be in bed asleep right now because she actually had to wake me up. I was dreaming. I was gone. I was enjoying myself. It was all great. I don't know what I was dreaming about, Welcome but it was, it was fun. I remember Welcome. that. <clears throat> yes, I know about leaving the sauna run. I do indeed know about leaving the sauna run and burning the house down and all that good stuff. Uh, there is one slight issue with my car. I was dreaming I was not streaming today. I like it. There's one slight issue with my car. In that I have no wheels. <laughs> So GG game. Happy anniversary. Time to go to bed. I think after the stream, I did a bunch of things, and then we ended up um, we ended up firing up GTA with some of the mods, and uh, we got the golden revolver. You know, like the new stuff in GTA. You have to get the golden revolver so that it unlocks in Red Dead Redemption. If you get that, so we did that. And then <clears throat> I said to a couple of mods, can you help boost me? Um, I need to get my turbo for my car. So we did 19 races <laughs> where I won just to get the turbo. <laughs> so it was about 2 o'clock in the morning by the time I got to bed. Uh, Yov hate of 50 months, hopefully the most ambitious thing I'll do today. Well, you're, you're aiming your sights high, Yov, aren't you? Try and guess. Four months, thanks for the great streams. Thank you for four months. Scumbag Lurker. And Ico, thank you for the resumes, guys. <clears throat> so, apparently, I read the patch notes. So, apparently, the magazine is in here now. That's one thing. So, yes, it is. I now have the default wheels back, and the scumbag game has removed and binned my custom ally wheels because it's now implemented. Brand new wheels were tight. You have tire wear and tire damage. You can actually get a puncture now, apparently. And uh, the magazine apparently has... Uh, the magazine apparently has new new wheels and stuff, which I've not looked at. There you go. So new rims. Presumably, do you order the tires separately now or what? No idea. Does this, does this come with tires? And you can also put the wheel anywhere on the on the car now. You know, it used to say like front left wheel, front right wheel. Apparently now you can just put the uh, the thing anywhere you want. So I've now got back to default wheels. It doesn't look like you can disassemble that. You got your golden... The golden nut is back, Dead Mouse. Yay. Uh, British Airways guy, thank you for the resume. Stevie LFC. No wheels? Oh, the fields. Thank you for the 100 bits. It'll appear on screen at 200, just so you know, Stevie. But thank you for the 100 bits. <clears throat> uh, Diamond Tiger, uh, it to me, sounds like you need to choose... The Euro Truck installation folder. That's what that sounds like. Uh, does anybody know about my summer cars wheels thing? Like, do I need to buy separate tires or something? How does this work? If you can get a puncture, that to me implies you can separate the tire from the wheel, from the rim. <clears throat> so yeah, my lovely custom alloy wheels are now gone. I've got to now fix my car up. And I haven't got much money. So GG, I can't buy any more wheels. I need to go do some work. Oh, I think the patch notes also said something about <clears throat> there are two wood delivery trailers now, not one. You get tires from Flitari. Oh my god. That is so annoying. Happy anniversary. That's actually annoying. <clears throat> there are some cool new wheels. Yeah, I can see those cool new wheels. I haven't got any money to buy them. 
Yes, I did the 50 headshot challenge. That's what I'm saying, Noza. I got the golden gun. The golden revolver. You have to get the 50 headshots. <clears throat> you get an email. You get an email uh, in the game. And then you go to a place and find, like, a clue. That's the hardest bit. After that, it gives you three locations on the map. You go to those. You investigate the three clues. And then it basically says, go here. You get a golden gun. Then you have to get 50 headshots. And it unlocks it in Red Dead Redemption. <clears throat> That's how, and gives you two hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's how it works. <clears throat> Astronaut, astronauts kill Malski. I streamed that a few times. Do you not remember? In fact, I'm sure I streamed that last Christmas. Because astro, oh, do you mean astronaut or astronauts? I don't know now. I'm confused. Why is my battery here? Is that a spare battery? One second. I'm a bit worried about the state of my car now because it's been over a month since I actually um, looked at this. Oh come on. Game plus. Nitrous. I don't know why I pressed that, because if I... Oh, no, I've got a normal load on this. No, I've got a battery. I've got an aftermarket battery. I would love to know what state my car is in. Why new game? What do you mean to kill her? I'm not sure what you mean. Hmm, that's, it's okay, but not tremendous amounts of oil in there. Maybe I should uh, top things up a little bit. <clears throat> Kony, uh, KC Onich, thank you for four months. Ragnars and ten months has already gone by so quickly. Happy to be part of the nut house. Almost only a year, Ragnarsson. Get some motor oil. Thought you started from scratch again. I did. This is my this is my from scratch profile. This is as far as we got it. We built this car. You can see all the build on Squirrel Plus, can't you? I've not advanced it any. Uh, there we go. Come on. Is that a four? Is just it's not moving any, is it? I can't work out if that's empty or not. One second, let's try this one. <clears throat> Mr. Referick, I just called with customer service on an online web shop here, and they were so nice, it's almost creepy. Oh, hi, biggest boss, sir, squirrel holiday this year. Uh, Referick, it's probably because it's Christmas and people are like uh, getting in with a spirit, you know? It'll fade, don't worry. Maybe they're on the... They start the holiday shortly. That's the wrong one. Welcome back, Nata. Let's put that over there. Let's grab one of these. <clears throat> cold engine. Well, it definitely is a cold engine. I've not started it. I wonder at what point is he going to have different fluids for these. So that, that bar is fuller than that bar. But that bar's... Oh, there you go. Seems about right. LMN Trixer. Thank you very much for subbing. Can we give LMN Tricks a lovely nitty welcome, guys? Thank you for your support. Welcome to the Nut House, LMN. Code Red Ranger, thank you for 30 months. Right, we all done that. Um, that's the basics done. I guess we've got to put the wheels back on then. So that my car is actually usable. So you actually meant astronauts? No, I meant astroneer, not astronauts. Well, there's one thing, it ain't going to roll away, is it? Do you reckon I can jack it up from here? Oh boy. That suddenly feels like not a good idea. Well, I don't know. It's kind of, it's kind of working. Anniversary. 
Kind of working. I think I got away with that. That's actually quite cool. <laughs> Let me get a drink. Can we have the chat on the opposite side so that we can see the needs? The needs for speed. Um, well, let's see. I normally have a reverse one, but I don't know if it's set up properly. It kind of looks like it might be working. We'll see when the next cheering comes through. Like we'll see if it's set up or not. I can't remember. How do you move the rust on the car? Uh, I don't think you can completely remove it. I think there's always going to be some because it's an old car. Spare my set. Wait, have I not got the ratchet set on this profile? Or did I lose it? Is this the profile where I lost the ratchet set? I think it is, you know. Welcome back. <laughs> got a feeling it is. I got a feeling. Knowing that you can't move the needs box. Yeah. Well, you can turn it off. Donk. Yep, the jack definitely went down. Because if you look, it's now inside the car. Welcome to my summer car physics. Did that appear on screen, by the way? How does that work? How does that work? Wow. Wow, did you see that? That was amazing. Jules, with a thousand bits and a test. Thank you very much, Jules. I take it that worked okay. And Dog Holiday with 300 bits and a test. I think it worked. I saw it on the screen. Do you know what? That was absurd what just happened then. Thank you, guys. Yep, my summer car physics. Well, it looks like the first thing we're going to have to do is earn some money because uh, I, I appear to be completely broke. I honestly thought I had more money than this. I'm kind of surprised. Hey, fat cowboy. That looks like a better jack anyway. Seems to have actually gone on the underside of the car as opposed to inside the car. Uh, what's this unlock gift for other things, hand dog? Not sure. Beautiful. I need to bolt these things on, don't I? What's the bolt size of the wheel, guys? Is it 11? Or 13? I can't remember. Thirteen, is it? Let's have a look. You be you be right, sir. Wait, why is that screwing on anti-clockwise? How does that work? How does that work? Is this car mechanics them all of get all of a sudden? That's not right. That's not right. Not to mention this thing's actually sliding. Going on the wrong way. Once you play this car for a bit, it's easy as heck. It's not that it's difficult, it's just that it's massively trolley. Like, you can't control the physics and bad things that happen. I was curious if you resub Tuck. The Twitch app can be a little frustrating to navigate. Uh, speed 88. Lord Imperius for 15 months. Uh, saw that one. Hero. No. Oh, there it is. There's the resume. There's no message speed, but it definitely did. It appeared on my screen. If I put the wheels on backwards or something, like, why are these bolts going on the wrong way? Nuts, I should say. Oh, one more. <clears throat> Yeah, 350 hours in the game. I've got 191, apparently. Uh, don't slide. Mm, okay. Be like that. Hello, it's Doug. How are you doing? 
the brace is out yet? No. So what happened, Andrews, is the other day, I have an appointment next Thursday. Okay, Thursday the 21st, I think it is. And I was hopeful, I was hopeful, but not expectant. I was hopeful that my braces would come out for Christmas and be like, yay, Christmas is out. Well, that all went, that all went uh, onto the fire on Tuesday when I discovered a broken brace at the bottom, broken bracket at the bottom of my brace. And I thought to myself, I knew, I know what's coming. This happened last time. It's a setback, basically, is what it is. It's a setback. So, um... I went for an emergency appointment, and sure enough, they put the previous wire back on. Which means I'm no longer on the last wire, which means there is absolutely no chance of me having this thing out for Christmas. So, yes, I'm stuck with it for a couple more months at least. Sigh. Apparently it's changed the aerodynamics of the car as well, so it's more unstable at high speed. Just what you need. And also reduce the braking. In other words, he's trying really hard to kill everybody. Anyway, the car's working. Well, I wasn't making a trip, that's why I didn't clunk click, dude. I wasn't making a trip, I was just making sure the car's actually working again. Welcome back. Which apparently it is. <clears throat> okay, we need to earn some money. I don't think we've got any sewage jobs. You're going to get two teeth removed on Thursday. Not looking forward to it, Ico. Meh. Honestly, I mean, I, I had one removed before my braces went in. I, I've probably had about almost ten teeth removed. Maybe more in my life. It really isn't that big a deal. It's just an injection in the gum, wait a few minutes, goes numb, get in there, yank it out, bit of blood, 10 minutes later it's, it's out. Eat some ice cream for a bit, jobs are good. Un. Let's go and check on the tractor situation. Um, hunger, let's grab some grub as well before we go. Wait. Christmassy blinds? That's a new one. Last year, it didn't he put, wait, wasn't it? A CD case? One second. My boombox got a CD on it. That's a CDR, that's a recordable CD. That doesn't have a CD on it. <clears throat> How do I, um... What do we do with this CD? Yeah, Matty, my my lower my my lower um, jawline is bigger than my upper, hence the mismatch, and hence why I've had to have teeth put taken out and stuff. <clears throat> right, let's have a listen to this. Apparently, the glove box works now as well. Apparently. You reckon that'll stay in there? How do you close the glove box? <laughs> you don't have to take the CD out of the case. It just automatically does it. <clears throat> How do you put it onto CD? Radio channel. It says playing. How do you... Seriously, how do you close this glove box? 
Right, there you go. Just down the bottom, right? That is so weird. Um, oh, it's glitching. Look, <clears throat> there is nothing. It is. It's a CDR, which means it's a blank CD, doesn't it? You have to put 12 tracks on there. You have to import your own music. All oh, right, okay. I thought he put some like special Christmas music on it or something. <clears throat> Never mind. What else has he added? Let's grab uh, that. I need to get all of my um, bottles from the tip as well, I think. Because. I don't know what state this is in. Uh, what? Well, it kind of looks like it's finished. Right, so we need to get the, the bottles back from the tip. <clears throat> and we need to do some wood. We need to get some money quickly. Uh, you did the same as a custom radio. Og files. Okay. <clears throat> the new game will be playing later, Apple Gamer. Let's go and find the tractor, which is not here. Oh, do you know what? Forgot to put the mature flag on. Let me put the mature flag on. Inappropriate for younger audiences. Done. Mature flag is on. Mature flag is on the screen as well. I did forget to put that on. This is a mature game. In case you've only got anybody young watching. Don't burn your house down. Well, it's quite easy to burn your house down. You just get a cigarette and go to bed. And then that'll burn the house down. I wouldn't really see that as an achievement. Or you could just leave the sauna on and that'll burn it down too. <clears throat> There's supposed to be two trailers. Do they both spawn here or do they spawn somewhere else? Why are you peeing in the garden? It's full of nitrates. No, honestly, it's duck. It's full of nitrates. I remember once I was a kid and um, I peed in the garden. I peed on a weed and I came back a few days later and the weed had just gone. Foom, and I was like, what? And I learned to, later in life, I learned why. <laughs> it's, a, it's a real thing. So where's the other... No, hang on. There's supposed, it's Podge 1. There's supposed to be another... I'm sure the note said there was another one. Come on, pick it up. Dude. I think I parked this thing a bit closer, didn't I? I'm sure the release note said... One second. There you go. Added two wood carriers for transporting firewood. Wood carriers. Hang on a sec. That's for firewood. I took that to mean another trailer, but it might not mean another trailer. That might mean something else. Exactly. Nitrates are a fertilizer. Exactly right. Do you know I'm going to move this? This is actually completely in the way. For the fireplace. Got gotcha. you. Meh. I thought we had two trailers for a minute. High stress. It's easy enough to get rid of. Uh, is that wooden thing next to the log pile? I'll have a look in a sec. Oh yeah, I can see it now. Oli 
Oivieskan vapaamuurojen salainen vuosikokous ensi sunnuntaina. Asialistalla muun muassa... Death Gamer, thank you to resume. M50 with three months. Back from my summer car. Keep up the good stream, thank you Imp. Youngstar. 15 months, I'm confused. The other day Twitch said it was my 14 month anniversary, now 15. I Twitch gave me an extra month. Who knows? That's amazing. You can actually have a cigarette whilst wielding an axe. Happy anniversary, Nata. <laughs> this doesn't work so well. <laughs> no! Come back. Can't pick it up now for some reason. Weird. You can now get seat covers to celebrate Finland's birthday. I did not hear that. Yeah, take it. That's in the catalogue. <clears throat> hey, Kestrel, how you doing? Drink the vodka next to the wood pile for fun. I've, I've done it a number of times. I know exactly what it does. It's, it's pretty, uh, makes people feel sick. <laughs> you only drink that if you're really, really desperate. The covers are in the store. Oh, you mean what? In actually, um, Timo's store? Nice, okay. I haven't got any money, but that sounds great. <laughs> How much does he charge for them, do you know? Uh oh Move, 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 move. <laughs> Watch my summer car or shovel snow. Do you know what? It would be great if this... I know it's called my summer car, but it would be great if this thing had like a winter as well. Imagine it in winter, with all the ice and the snow around. Getting stuck in the snow, freezing to death. Being dark all the time. You can buy bread and dust cover. What can you do with the bread? And what do you put the dust cover on? Get off. Get off. There's a ski jump arena. What? To shovel yourself out the house. He could so make a, uh, a winter version of this game. <clears throat> When's your next Martin McCarr video? I'm not sure, mate. I've got a couple of important things I need to work on Monday, Tuesday, and then I'll hopefully see if I can get some recording done. Not even done a special transport video because this cold not knocked out my recording all week, so that was great. <clears throat> my winter car is planned but not promised. Yeah, but he wouldn't have to make a separate game. He could just make it as a DLC to this one. Everybody buy it. Like, seriously, if he made it as a DLC, everybody that bought this game would buy that. Without a doubt. And then all he has to do is make it so that it transitions between summer and winter. And that would be brilliant. My winter reindeer. <clears throat> if you drive down Seamus store, there are ski jumps on the left side of the road. Blimey, sounds like he's been adding a few things. Can you actually drive over the speed? Like, what are they for, the ski jumps? Build a car in winter, drive it in summer. Yeah, if you can actually get down to the mechanics and stuff and stay stable on the road. Imagine driving on the main road, but they'd not gritted it. <laughs> 
Or you, you go out to the shop to get some stuff and get caught in a snowstorm. Or in winter, the lake freezes over. Instead of taking the boat, you can actually drive over it or walk over it. But in places, the ice cracks and it's thin. And if you fall through it, you die. Lol. The endless possibilities. <clears throat> yeah, special winter tires, buy the chains for it and stuff. Yeah, you can have a race on the on the ice lake. Like, have a special course on the ice lake. How am I going? Not bad. My nose is still a bit blocked up. <clears throat> but otherwise, I'm okay. Admitted bits of the road. Yeah, you could block road. Like, the, certain sections of the road could randomly be blocked by snow. <laughs> ah, dear. Oh, come on. There's a mod called My Winter Car. You can install it if you want and see. <clears throat> what does it do? It probably just snow textures things, I guess, which is not really a snow implementation. <clears throat> it's, about, it's a bit like... Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It's a bit like Euro Truck Frosty mods and stuff. Like They don't change the game. They just make it look frosty. Finish Frozen Squirrel on Ice the Musical. <laughs> that could be a thing. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, a snow plow for the poop. I mean, imagine you, know, you can actually you can actually get phone calls to go clear the road in your snow plow. You can have a snow plow truck. That'd be so cool. I need to change that radio channel. It's massively repeating. American cheesecake. Uh, is there any way to stop updates on Steam? My ETS2 keeps updating and ruining my mods. Uh, the only way to stop updates on Steam is to tell it not to automatically update your games. Or if it starts updating, click on the updates and click pause. Happy anniversary. But, you know, it won't. Like, you can get it to not update games, but it's not easy. Like, individual ones. One sec, let me change the radio. There you go. Radio station you have at work, just play this top 10 on repeat. Not good on a 12 hour shift. Cosmo, that would do my nut. It's the same when the um, when you work in a department store and they put a Christmas CD on and put it on loop. Just like one CD on loop. And it is just... If you can't block that out, it will just mentally drive you mad. Cereal on milk first. Is that even a thing, Harry? Surely you put your cereal in the bowl and then pour milk on top. Like, why would you do it the other way around? It's just nuts. Working on Christmas with radio makes you want to shoot the place up. <laughs> oh, yes. What is the new game that you're talking about? Oh my god. If I'd have been playing that new game, you'd have been going, Happy When's my summer car? When's OMSI? When do you go trucking, Squirrel? Are you going to play Skylines again? <laughs> Dude, just chill. Just enjoy. Relax. Live in the now a bit more, rather than what's coming next, Squirrel? What's coming next? When's the next video? 
A lot of people do milk first. I've never met a single person who does milk first. I think that's full and gone. No, it's not. It's nearly full. That's full. Wait, so we can actually snack things on here. Once, how does this work? Wood carrier. How many of these can we fit on here then? Two, three. This is cool. Four. <laughs> I like this. It's not. It doesn't 100% go straight on though, does it? Is it just four? Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And the way he snaps. Nine. This is cool. Oh, come on. There must be ten. Ten. Yay. Now, if you were to log off and log, well, quit the game and come back, will that still be there? Unlike these, they get despawned. I take it this will still be here. Take that with us, why not? John Colliday, do you butter the bread or or the pan on a grilled cheese? <laughs> butter the bread or the pan? <laughs> um, I, I actually do neither. Because what I do is I use the, um, I use the Breville thing. Wait a sec, is this even doable? Driving with logs on your knees. It's a thing. Um, I used one of those little Breville things. Jules, are we there yet? Lol. Almost, Jules. Dragon Trucker. Wanted to write something witty, but it's 5.30 in the morning. Dog's got me up. But it's okay, because Squirrel's on. Oh my god. You see, the dogs knew I'd gone live. That's what it is. They, they follow me as well. Mad Matt, keep up the brilliant videos and get well soon. Thank you for three months, Mad Matt. Thanks for two months, Rodecar. If I was going to do it, I would butter the bread. That's what I would do. But it's a non-stick Breville, so normally you don't need to. Liquid City. Is that Liquid City? Thank you for your resume. Wow, cheese brakes. Blimey, you really has reduced the braking. Not just in the car. What do we do with this thing anyway? Have we got a fire in the house now or something? You go and watch the new Star Wars. Enjoy. Wait, what time of day is it? Because I actually don't know. 10 to 7. At night. Okay, so the wood guy's probably not going to be there, is he? 10 to 7 at night. The fireplace works now. Nice. We can't do this tonight. Okay, we'll have to deliver that in the morning. We've only got one sewage job, so we can't get money out of that. We're going to have to grind the wood. I need the money. I need to get some custom wheels. So this actually works now. Is this how you burn your house down? I'm going to unplug that so we can get a good night's sleep as well. More ways to kill yourself. You're going to go... Uh, you're going to go play some realism car came now. What? English. Learn to English. I don't know what you mean. Right, thirst bar, fatigue bar. Yeah, we'll just rest. 
You can burn it down with fireworks. Oh my god. We'll have a shower in the morning. It's a pity you can't close the curtains. Yeah, the sauna's off, Eagle Fist. I don't really use the sauna. Now you can use the shower. I don't use the sauna anymore. Right, let's plug that back in. And let's do that so it saves. Nah, he's not adding any new, new cars. The only car you've got is the one that you can get from that guy that you can gamble or steal. But you can't... If, you, if you're talking about cars that you can build, from scratch, there's still only one car. He's basically getting all the bits and pieces working on it, I think. So now you can get tires that wear down and stuff like that. Just saving that. Locking that in. Does the wood guy still call you, or can you go to him any time? Um, normally, he only calls you... He only calls you the very first time or after he dies, yeah, to let you know he's back. Other than that, you can go to him any time as long as it's in the day. Like, he, he doesn't stand outside at night. <laughs> at least that's how it all used to work, but who knows. When you save, burn it down and then quit without saving. What, you just want to see the house on fire? Well, we'll, we'll do that at the end, okay? We'll do that at the end. Let's see what time of day it is. Ten past eight. See, that's too early for the firewood guy. But there's nothing else we can do. We just have to drive down there. <clears throat> Eagle Fist, whenever I put the Christmas tree lights on, people are like, oh, take it off. I hate it. It's rubbish. Yeah, I know some others want to see it, but we can do it later. Another color of Satsuma, thank you. Love it. I wanted to check the post box, hang on. You never know, I might have got a bill. Right, I'm not joking, the tractor's got cheese brakes now. You hit the brakes and nothing happens. Uh-oh. You got mail! I'm guessing it's not an invite to a uh, party. 140 mark bill for electricity. 180 kilowatts used. What? I've not used 180 kilowatts. On what? On what have I used? I've not even had the lights on. How do we pay that? I just automatically took it. Nice. Direct debit to thing. I love it. Genius. What happens if you don't check your mail then? My money's going ripped completely, guys. Actually, I've got an idea. I know I just paid it. That's barely expensive. You get a thousand mark for electricity if you leave everything on. Hey, I'm still complaining. They cut your power until you pay it. That's fair enough. Yeah, what I thought was rather than drive to the wood guy and then have to stand around waiting for him, it might be better to just take the van and go and get all of my plastic bottles back so we can get some, make some money out of the kill you and get another one brewing. Because I'm on a money grind. It it was a hundred and how much was it? It's 180 watt megawatt, 180 kilowatts, which amounted to 130 mark or something, something like that.
sec, have I got any food in the bag? Food and beer. Sounds good. <laughs> SF joints, through the bits. Um, I'm sorry, Paul, but on the parcel tracking from the parcel I sent you, Stan, the requested address could not be found. That was on the 14th of the 12th. Wait, what? SF joints? You sent something to the PO box and they said the address could not be found. That doesn't make any sense. What that probably means is you used a um, you used a courier that doesn't deliver to pass to uh, PO boxes. Who did you use, SF Joints? I never left my tractor like that. Oh yeah, I forgot about the seatbelt, I'm gone. Nordic Night Fury with 100 bits, hello Paul, and chat, long time no see, welcome back. Sorry to hear about your mother's passing, hope all is well with you, I'm alright now Nordic, getting over my cold mate. Thank you for the bits, welcome back. Monsieur Fluffy Pants with 5 months. What a name. Uh, used Hermes. Does Hermes deliver to PO boxes? Does anybody know if, a Her if Hermes delivers to PO box? I know Hermes is cheap. It might be in their policy not to, but to be honest, they should have told you that when you um, when you sort of sent it. They should have said we're not going to deliver that. You may notice new radio songs. So yeah, SF Joints, that, the only thing I can think of is that's rather than it saying we don't deliver to PO boxes, they've basically said address not found. Because we all know the address definitely exists. The real question is, do Hermes deliver to anywhere? Wait, 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 wait. That, that was not a thing. That was never a thing. A field full of wheat. That was never there, that's new. I'm going this way. Hermes don't do PO boxes, says W28. There you go, SF Giants, that's the reason. That is it. Scumbag for taking your money, though. 